Mixed reactions are currently trailing the death of a federal appellate judge, Justice Joseph, who slumped and died before his family members and was promptly pronounced dead. Why processes for his elevation to the Supreme Court? Justice Joseph passed on Wednesday evening in his own town of Makodi at the age of 65. His death came a few weeks after political opposition in Ogun State accused him of taking cash bribes. Justice Joseph was accused of upholding the controversial re-election of Governor Dakbo Obiado, who he said to have a notoriety for corruption and abuse of office. He led the panel that upheld a lower tribunal decision, which was hanged largely on a technical claim that the opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, described as purported the initial certification of Mr. Obiado by Electoral Office, INEC. He was joined by another judge on the three-member panel. The last judge, Jane A. Young, descended in the matter, saying there were no justification for upholding Mr. Obiado as governor. Reports say the matter was promptly appealed to the Supreme Court by Lade Adebutu, Mr. Obiadu's main challenger in the March 18 governorship poll. The judiciary watchdog said the ruling was among the most controversial of election petition verdicts so far this season. Reacting to his death, engineer Shaibu, a social political commentator, said, the people rejoice when the corrupt and dishonest dies. Justice Joseph's family should be going through the most embarrassing and, at the same time, emotional moments of their lives right now for losing a family member and seeing people rejoicing instead of mourning with them. Another person said, if judgment was always this swift, Nigeria would have been a better country, you collect bribe, instant judgment. Well, his name, and he was a complete disgrace. Kama fully caught up with him. Person die instead of rest in peace. Rather, people are rejoicing. This goes to show how disgusted the people are with the judiciary. They need to see this and wonder. The people rejoice when the corrupt and dishonest dies. Justice, Joseph's family should be going through the most embarrassing at the same time emotional moment of their lives right now for losing a family member and seeing people rejoicing instead of mourning with them. These are reactions from Nigerians and they keep on talking. I wish these people are are seeing what is going on in Nigeria, how Nigerians see them, how wish they are seeing it so that they can understand that you see this money of a thing, bribe, <laughs> it can never take you anywhere. You understand? Once you stand for the stand on the right path, people, people will glorify your name. You understand? It's really very big, you know, a, a, a shameful thing that this is how our Nigerian judiciary system have actually ended. You understand? These people should wake up and reform that system. And the only way this can happen is when the judiciary system becomes independent. That is it. Nigerians are not happy with them. Nigerians are not happy with them because they see them like betrayers. They betray them. They betray their trust and everything. So Nigerians are not happy with the Nigerian judges. That is the reason why anything happens. You see people talking. At least, no more, no more, say person die. Nah, something like this, you go here. Oh, no, why now? 
may so rest in peace. But this one will not be like that. To the extent that those who are still alive, people are joining them. People want them to die. You know, this is what you, you get. This is what you get when you intimidate the people. And they look at it like there is nothing we can do. We leave you to God to judge. And they, they, when things like this happen, they are not seeing it like God has taken his judgment. You understand? When you intimidate somebody, you no know, say you big past person, you intimidate them, you collect something from them. Waiting, he go tell you, be say, I don't leave you for God to judge. And when anything happens to you, whether God don't do the judgment or not, they will assume that God has already, you know, judged you. And that is the consequences of your action. These people have to repent too. You understand? That, that, that's their job. Hey, that's their job. Hey, it takes a lot too. That's their job. It takes a lot. If you are in, in those positions, you just have to blind your eyes when you are talk, talking about bribe. Forget about it. Nigerians have lost their confidence in the Nigerian judiciary system, and this is really very poor. They have lost their trust in the electoral body. They have lost their trust in the police. Okay, tell me who they won't go meet. This is really very sad, though. Nigeria, don't they? It just they collapse like this, they go. And people, they say nothing, they happen, in no matter. Well, I'm dropping it here, guys. Let's hear from you. What's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.